that's a big old red right now. You oh, got yeah. Him, Terry? I got him. All right. They're going to bite now. He's almost spooled me. I'm getting a little bit of my line in. Well, he's taking off, isn't he? Yeah, he sure did. And that was just a dead mullet. I'm gonna stop catching live bait. All right, I'm gonna stay over here with these two rods. You tell me when you get him up here, when you see him, we'll net him. Maybe a Jack Cravel. He's coming in awful easy. Or he just doesn't know he's hooked yet. There he goes. Ooh. He's over there in the net, Terry. So you get him up here, we'll get him. I think it's a red. Man, look at him go. That may be a Jack Cravel. I fighting. still, still hadn't caught a glimpse of him. Yeah. It may be a big old Jack. He's shaking his head. I'll keep watching those other rods. It is a Jack Cravel, I guarantee you. He's darting around. So, you know, that's one that we caught that fish with a mullet. Most finger mullet are good bait for almost anything that, that swims here. Is that yeah, that's a natural, hard natural beat? food in the rivers back here. And if you don't cash net them, you can buy them frozen. Those will do fine. Yeah, that's why I always bring a, a pack of frozen, a couple dozen. I swear this is a big old Jack Cravel. That's what it is. You called your shot. Yep. A big old jack. Yeah, how about that? Now those are those guys are pretty quick to hit top waters, aren't they? Jack? Oh god, they explode on the top water. If are you like they, to, are they in the rivers year round, or is this something that's primarily a, a warm water? Uh, primary a warm water, you know, fish. But they'll take top waters. They'll take live bait. They they croak like a croaker. I heard him talking to you. Yeah. Take the hook out of them here. <laughs> now they get up to about 30 pounds. Is that uh, is that average? What's the average jacket? Oh, about there? this size. I think he's telling you he wants to go, go back in the water. No, I'm going to just shoot them in head first. That rushes the water through their gills. There you go. That gives them a fresh shot of air. And he's off oxygen. Of that. Well, let's, let's catch a redfish here. Yeah, let's get another mullet. That there. was fun. Yeah. I enjoy red, uh, the well, jacks. You know, Cravel. if you just want to have fun and yeah. you just want to catch a fish, the jacks are great. What we've done now, Captain Terry's brought me into the backwater. As you can see, the tides begin to fall, but it's just now falling. It's still real high. It's flooded up in the grass. And we're looking to see if there's any jacks or maybe some redfish that are actually up in these little pockets. Just like bass fishing, we're looking for something different on the bank. And a, a creek coming in or a little clump of grass that's by itself or an indention in the grass. Anything that's different. Got him, Terry. That a red? Yep, he's a nice one too. Oh, look at him go. Yo, Terry, that was just like fishing for stripers. He hit it, missed it. I got him. Just gonna hold him high. <laughs> that was great. Fish came up, he hit it, and he missed it. He's just going on down the river. That's a Jack, Jack Cravel. Yep, I see him now, it's a Jack. See a rod tip? Yep, I see the fish. Nice Jack. <laughs> it's fighting like a Jack. Oh, I saw it, I saw it, definitely a Jack. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah. Just walk down here and 
Terry. See if we can just grab him by the tail. Yeah. You get him for me, Terry? Yep. I think reach him. Get the hooks. Great fun. Good cast and a good catch. And he just stayed after and stayed after. Yeah, he kept popping it. it, didn't he? You got your pliers back? Slide that out there. Oh, you had him hooked well. He wants to get you. There he goes. All right. Good going. Man. Terry, good job. Let's go over there and see if he's got a buddy with him. How about All that? All right. 